Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create topography within Photoshop. Firstly, we create a new canvas. Typically, your canvas wants to be 1920 by 1080. And down here in the layers, if your background actually has a padlock next to it, it just means that the layer is locked. So we just wanna click the padlock just to unlock it. We wanna turn this into a smart object so we can go ahead and add a bunch of different effects to it and change it if we need to. So just right click the layer and click convert to smart object. With the layer selected, we head over to Filter, Render, and Clouds. And with the same one selected again, we go to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. As you can see, you can almost see where the topography lines actually will be. And what we need to do now is go ahead and soften the image, just because the image is quite sharp at the moment. So go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. I want to say... Anything around like the 10 mark works great for this. If we go higher than 10, it starts to blur the image a bit too much. So I'm gonna go for like maybe maybe 11 here. Now we need to add an adjustment layer. So we head over to image, adjustments, and posterize. As you can see already, it's kind of making these little islands here with lines. And we just kind of up the levels to whatever we want. So I'm gonna go for I'm going to go for around about 18. Next thing we want to do is head back to Filter, Stylize, and find Edges. As you can see, we basically have the base down. And all that's left to do now is just kind of change it to whatever color you want. And we're pretty much there. We're going to go and add a gradient map to this just to change the color. So Image, Adjustments, and Gradient Map. As you can see right off the bat again, it's kind of inverting the colors here, and I think that looks really, really nice. We're actually gonna we're actually gonna add a bit more color to this. So I'm gonna pick a color at random here. I'm gonna go for green here. Maybe click this green here, and we're actually gonna make this a bit darker, a bit of a darker green, and we're gonna change this green here to more of a teal. Kind of up it there. Click OK. And you can just click the reverse here if you want to reverse the gradient, of course. It totally depends on whatever you want. Once I'm happy, I'm just going to click OK. You can actually add a brightness and contrast, which will actually make the lines more prominent. So we just up the contrast a little bit. And the brightness. And it just kind of makes those lines pop a little bit more. Perfect. And what you notice here on the layers is it kind of lists all the effects that we've put on the smart layer. You can actually go ahead and double click the clouds layer. It will actually randomize the clouds that were placed originally. And you can do the same for difference clouds if you wanted a bit more of a different effect. And you can do the same for posturize. You can change the levels to go higher or you can change it to go lower. So let's go for like a, maybe a nine and there. I'm sure you can create some awesome things with this. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.